It's Thursday, November 19th, 2015. On today's episode of HVTV, we take a closer look at Hillview's advanced art elective with Ms. Kogan, get some clues about tomorrow's final spirit competition of trimester one, visit downtown Santa Cruz and the Bagel Street Cafe, and play a game of Guess Who in today's Hawk Squawk. Ready or not, HVTV starts now. <laughs> When you think of art, you probably think of paintings and museums, but it's often said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. When it comes to Hillview Advanced Art, students push themselves to not only understand the techniques, but to connect with people from all over the world. Here's HVTV reporters Paul Mills and David Wagstaff with the story. Advanced Art is a class for students who love art. These students are very dedicated because they have to take the class all year long in open session. Let's check in with Hillview's art teacher, Miss Kogan. We do a variety of projects each year. Each year it's different, so you could take it in 7th grade and you could take it in 8th grade and it would be different both years. So we do drawing, painting, sculpture with a variety of materials. We do printmaking and some design. Just kind of practicing art and, you know, getting better and better as we go along. Some people might think of art as just paintbrushes and clay, but it's so much more than that. Advanced Art helps connect students from all around the world. I do different projects every year. One that I like to do every year, though, uh, that does repeat is called the Memory Project, and that's where we um, partner with an orphanage somewhere around the world. This year we're doing Madagascar, and uh, students get a, a, a photograph of a child in the orphanage in Madagascar and they do a portrait of that child and then we mail it to the orphanage and then the organization that we work with takes photos of the kids uh, holding the portraits and sends it back to us. It's a really meaningful project that we do. Advanced art students must challenge themselves to improve throughout the year. I don't know if you'd say that this class is a hard class. It's hard if, if you don't like art, but I think that everybody who's in the class enjoys art and so they push themselves to work hard and focus in class. For some people it like also helps you calm down like after a stressful day. Art motivates me in life because like when you go in like college, let's say or in high school, it helps you decide what you'd like to do. It's an enjoyable class, but it should hopefully be challenging for people too. And they, it, the, but the challenge might come from the, the projects, but also from the being self-motivated and challenging yourself. Advanced art is more than just art. It's about making work that you put effort into. All these students try their hardest every day and put in the extra effort in their project for perfection. Signing off, I'm Paul Mills with photojournalist David Wagstaff. With Hillview's great location in Menlo Park, many students go downtown after school for a snack. Our intro broadcast class created a video on the popular place to stop for a bite to eat. Reporters David and Tyler have the story. You know the feeling. It's a block day. Your stomach begins to growl. You're in the mood for something different and you begin to think about all the options on downtown San Cruz Avenue. You, have you ever tried the Bagel Street Cafe? Bagels were originally brought to the U.S. by way of New York City, where they were served by the thousands. The Bagel Street Cafe, next to Anne's Coffee Shop and the Bonjore, serves up all types of delicious bagels, from traditional plain to some more exotic flavors like Cinnamon Crunch and Asiago Cheese. Or, if you dare, you can try the Spicy Jalapeno Bagel. But Bagel Street Cafe doesn't just serve bagels, they serve croissants and other pastries as well as a variety of beverages. In fact, Bagel Street Cafe pays tribute to the bagel's history and its stores. Do you notice the New York skyline? 
If you don't like the taste of a plain bagel, here you have the option to toast your bagel to give it whatever choice you made, a nice crunch. But bagels don't make themselves. The day begins as early as 4.30 a.m. when the baker arrives to prepare the bagels and pastries for the day. Bagel Street Cafe relies on word of mouth and foot traffic, so they usually set up their cafes in downtown cities with lots of foot traffic, just like Santa Cruz Avenue. So the next time you find yourself hungry after school, consider stopping off at Bagel Street Cafe. For HVTV, I'm David Pluckerman with photojournalist Tyler Horan. It's that time again, Hawks Walk. Yes, once again we put the camera back on you. In game we're calling, guess who? Think you know your television stars? Are you sure? Let's see what HVTV reporters Amy Pasquale and Delaney Epstein have for us today. We, uh, we have a new edition. Scott, something, Harry Potter. That is Truck Punch from Dolphins. It's from Doctor Who, he's from Doctor Who. Yeah. I don't know his name, what that? <laughs> I have no idea. It's like Benedict. It's some guy, I have no idea. Oh yeah, that's Doctor Who for sure. David Tennant, get out of here. Uh, Doctor Who and I forget what his name is. Not a real nerd. That is David Tennant or the 10th Doctor of Doctor Who. She, she's from Modern Family. Sophia. Um, De La Vega. No. No, she goes to our school. What am I saying? Um, oh. Sophia, Sophia Varga. Is that her name? Yeah, Sophia, um, from, from, oh, from Hot Pursuit. Kylie Jenner. She's a person in Modern Family. It's, I don't know. Oh, what's her name? Um, Modern Family. And Sophia something or other. Sophia Vergara from Modern Family. That's oh, it! Sophia oh, that's Vergara! So Sophia yeah. Vergara from Modern Family! Modern Family! Modern Family. Modern Family. Slumdog Millionaire. He's from the science show. The guy that invented five hour energy. Hello, Trump. I don't know. Big Bang Theory. Lady Gaga? <laughs> Madonna. No. It's like from the 1900s. She's Paige from Dance Moms. That's oh. a person. Oh, that's Paige. She's from Dance Moms. Nice! Ha I can't remember all their names. We have something new, Hawks. It's our first ever Instagram photo challenge. To enter our challenge, we want your best photos of a sunset posted to Instagram with hashtag HVTV sunset. All you have to do is take a picture of an awesome sunset this week and post to Instagram with the hashtag HVTV sunset. The winner will be selected from your entries. If you do not use Instagram, you can also email your photo to hvhawktalk at gmail.com. We'll share the winning photo and announce your name on the next episode. ASB has their final competition tomorrow. Here's some clues that will help you win. I am an only child. Once, I was chased by a king cobra through the streets of Mumbai. His name is Kuku. My cat's name is Buddy, and he likes to eat food. I can carry 310 pounds on my back and walk 50 feet. My favorite food is Brussels sprouts. A mouse died in my classroom. Well, Hawks, that brings us to the end of today's HVTV. We hope you enjoyed today's stories. If you want to see more stories like these, check us out at hillviewasb.com and click on Hawk Talk. If you have an idea for a story, such as one of your friends with a cool hobby or talent or collection, email your idea at hvhawktalk at gmail.com. Until our next episode, remember, make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Keep